Hey everybody, welcome back to Red Dave's Garage. This is Red Dave talking with you. Uh, back to the 69 Westy project. So, I uh, wanted to get some opinions from any uh, Volkswagen guys out there on gauge setups. So, I have my gauge and this thing is just, as you can see, it's destroyed. Yeah, <laughs> it's done. Uh, so, my thoughts were, I found a company, I know I can do custom gauges from like Autometer, or a video and maybe make this panel. But what I was thinking is, uh, check them out guys. See if anybody's used them, they can let me know what their opinions are. Uh, but Dakota Digital makes really custom gauge setups um, that I thought I'd make, obviously make a panel again and then drop it. It's all one piece. Rather than having gauges everywhere, it's all built into one unit. Um, anybody out there, give me some opinions if you use them, Dakota Digital. Um, obviously I know I can redo this. I, I'm not gonna do that. That's my alarm. <laughs> uh, wake up the neighborhood, right? Good morning. Um, no, I'm not gonna restart this video. No way. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, yeah. So I, all you purists out there, I'm going to hell. I know because I'm not using the original Volkswagen setup. But I want something custom. This is a resto mod, not a complete restoration to original stuff uh, on the bus. I want stuff that looks cool. Dakota Digital, anybody out there, let me know what you think, what your opinions are of it. Uh, has it worked for you? Has it been reliable for you? Has it been accurate? Because um, I know they're kind of spendy. At $900 for the one gauge setup, that's kind of spendy. But uh, I'd like to know before I go out and just drop almost a grand on some one single gauge cluster uh, if they're quality if they aren't please leave me a review that'd be great save me some headaches um, I will be updating you guys next week I'm getting the bus back finally from Media Blast which it's having a lot more problems than we knew obviously you don't know you know you can tap on it and do things to know I knew there was Bondo on it to what extent I didn't know until I got pictures and I'm like oh my gosh I got some massive panel replacement to be doing, uh, but I'm going to show you the bus, going to show you how we, you replace, a, I'm going to be end up doing a whole front nose on it and inner valance, uh, some like floor pans, battery pan, all that stuff we'll be replacing it. Uh, show you guys how that's done on a bus because I didn't see too many videos of guys tutorials on it and I'm sure people want to know. Uh, we'll look at that. We'll look at the Benko transmission that I bought. I bought a freeway flyer. Kind, I kind of bought it earlier than I should uh, because I'm, I'm questioning its mating with a uh, 2210 or 2110 sorry excuse me Volkswagen high performance motor that I bought will it be able to handle the torque eh, I guess if I blow the tranny I blow the tranny and I'll get a new one kind of a spindy fix but uh, and I you know it, I guess I know it depends on your driving uh, habits too you know this is going to be a daily driver. It isn't going to be somebody out there rodding it and stuff like that. So just a quality, you know, clutch on it and hopefully we'll be okay. Um, but uh, we'll see. I'll, I'll uh, send some videos of that out on that as well as the panels um, and more product. Um, uh, some stuff I bought from Vintage Speed and uh, just cool stuff for buses and, and bugs, man. I mean, uh, more and more is coming out. Uh, alternates to the factory stuff, which factory stuff's good. You know, I mean, it's a, I'm, it's a bus. You're in for the trip, right? It's about the experience. <laughs> so, uh, but some stuff that just kind of improves the driving of it and makes it feel like you're driving more of a modern car with a cool vintage look. Um, check, uh, check uh, uh, the company I was telling you about. Check Vintage Speed out. Cool company. Cool stuff for uh, buses. Uh, but I'll get back to you uh, next uh, couple days with updates on that stuff and you guys can check out the motor that's coming in and all that fun stuff if you have any questions about buses let me know um, you know random stuff you can't figure out or you know I have questions so I put it out there for people to ask I mean to answer and for me to ask uh, but yeah stay tuned for the next couple videos this is uh, Red Dave signing out I'll talk to you guys later